I figured I let my hair out for this one. Let my let my John breathe a little bit. What's going on, guys? Boy, we'll be back again once again. And this is something that I want to actually kind of do more of in the future. And this is a new kind of segment, I guess, if you will. It's going to be called Story Time with Ooch. All right. So your boy is going to be just kind of going through some memories and some, I don't know, just stories and stuff like that that I have that I normally would be sharing on my Twitch. So again, if you guys have not tuned into any of my streams, I highly recommend you checking out the link in the description below. Hit me up on Twitch, follow that so that way you get alerted as to whenever I'm live and that way you can talk to me um, outside of the comments and the community tab and all that kind of stuff. So again, hit me up on Twitch. But I normally tell plenty of stories. There's a lot of different kind of discussions and a lot of things that we talk about on the on my twitch channel while i'm playing all sorts of games live and this story i feel like i've definitely told before but i wanted to say it again and i wanted to tell you guys here on youtube so that you guys did not feel left out now i don't know if you noticed but i do have some dragon ball super statues in this little background area that i have for this set of mine and there's some other ones that i have and i actually haven't ever opened them as a matter of fact this and this guy right here the broly one and this uh collector's edition statue that came with dragon ball z kakarot are probably one of the few dragon ball pieces of like figure merchandise that i have that open but there's two other ones that i haven't opened and if you've watched any of my streams and seen my background you'll actually notice possibly that there are two figures that i've had that actually belong in the same family as that broly one over there and if you notice the one that's sitting on top of this guy right here this one i've never opened either so i will tell you the story about how I got these two guys. So real quick, I'm not going to tell you where I work or what I do for a living outside of here, but there are certain times where where I might have to work a double. And if you don't know what a double is, it's essentially where you have to, you know, work your normal day shift and then you have to basically come back for the night shift. And luckily with my job, if that happens, they usually give me the next day off so that way I can rest and come back the following day. And normally what I do is because of my my commute i actually don't act go all the way home so what i do is i go to an arcade to kill the time at this arcade they actually have the the gotcha game type of arcades where you have to drop a ball into like a certain spot and if you do you could win one of these. So the only money I actually spent on these figures are money to put onto my credit so that way I can swipe and play the games in the first place. And I was actually surprised to see some some legit Dragon Ball Super merch at this arcade. So I was like, oh dude, this is pretty dope. So I'm gonna try my best to open these and tell the story at the same time. So luckily I do have a box cutter. Now, so what happened was I believe I won Vegeta's first. So when I got Vegeta, uh, I guess we should open his first. Huh? Huh? The reason why I got Vegeta first, you might ask, is not just because we are still hoping that he gets the final big win against Moro, but it's more importantly because when it, it was way more special when you got to see my man go Super Saiyan God in the Broly film. When Goku got it, it was like, okay, cool, it's expected. Goku gets all the stuff first. He gets all the, you know, all the praise and the shine, like all the time. And it's really nice to see when Vegeta gets to, you know, kind of be on that same level as Goku for once. So that's why I decided out of my options to pick Vegeta first. Now, you might ask, oh, so like how many tries did you did it take you? Honestly, this only took me three to four tries. It definitely took me a couple more to get Goku funny enough. But I felt like after the second one and after what I'm gonna then tell you after I get this one open as a little intermission, a part of the story, I have come to the conclusion that I'm never going to play games like this ever again. We got this open. So just for, that, for those that are wondering, this is the Chokoku Buden statues. These are made by Ban Presto. These are Crane King games. So I guess these are meant for uh, crane games of that sort. <laughs> I almost forget that these come in pieces. You have to like kind of put them together yourself. Little tear here. This is literally what Vegeta looks like along with the rest of the of the, the warriors that are fighting against Moro right now in the manga if you're uh, 
if you're if you're keeping up. All right, so I got his legs out. Came with a little foot stand, I suppose. It kind of stands up fine as it is. I don't know. You guys can see, but wow, look at this. This is freaking looking nice. Oh my goodness. Let me just pop them together. Boom. This is a sick. This is a dope Vegeta figure right here. So yeah. So got him i was like all right this is pretty dope now let me try my luck in getting the next one so i go in for to get the next one not all in the same day i should say but there was another uh night shift that i then received i feel like it was maybe a week or two later and i was like oh i'm definitely gonna go for that goku right because i didn't want to be od and get all of them at the same time and then next thing you know i would have no freaking credits left to play any of my fighting games so then uh naturally i went in i played the the, the 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 second time i went around there i noticed that it was a little bit more challenging for some reason and i was like i'm so close and the funny thing is they were pretty nice to me and they noticed that i was like kind of playing for a decent amount of time and that's obviously a lot of money that yeah, i was wasting and after you try like a certain amount of times if you ask uh nicely of course they will kind of like reset them for you um and the manager at the time he actually um he actually gave two of my my plays back like on he put the credit back on my card so that was really nice of him and but yeah obviously i eventually won go won won the goku so here's goku these look so clean i'm not gonna lie I love the colors, like the paint job on these, and I'm, I'm no, I'm no toy reviewer, at least not yet. Yo, it looks like Goku got like, like one of those like towel head wraps on, where he like just came out of like a bathhouse. That shit looks funny. Man, that John looks freaking fire. Look at this. These are like the easiest things to assemble. Nice and tight. Boom. These are, I'm not gonna lie, like Vegeta and Goku, these are fire. Now I, I can only imagine what the Super Saiyan Blue versions look like, but. I don't got any of those. So these footrests actually come in handy because they uh, they actually hold them in a pretty good position. So there you go, boom, we got Goku and Vegeta right there. So to wrap up the story, I will now say, if you've made it this far, thank you. So now the rest of the story goes like this. I was feeling good. I was feeling really good. I was like, man, I could win any of these figures right now, right? And I noticed there was another crane game machine that had not just these guys, but they had the Ultra Instinct Goku in that bitch. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. Your boy's about to come up. And I was about to literally pull up and win that, John. I'll be like, dude, I am the Crane King King, son. Now, here's the problem. This is kind of where the story gets, like, bittersweet. I spent a decent amount and i i say decent amount because i actually i honestly don't remember exactly how much i spent but i spent enough to where i came so close and this game was a little bit different the last game to get these guys i had to pick up a ball and simply drop it in a like a bowl and as, as long as it stayed in the bowl you won so that was a lot easier to do so that's why i was feeling pretty confident the other one for this Ultra Instinct Goku was actually the kind of game that I was starting to describe just now. And that you had to pick up a ball which could slip out and then drop it in a desired square location that was highlighted. And of course, that highlight was like dead center in this whole entire like board setup, right? And I was like, okay, this is challenging, but it's doable. So I kept telling myself that and I came so close. I essentially, what ended up happening was I had balls around the perimeter of where it had to go, the final one. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. It was a few times where it would, the, the ball would drop bounce in the zone and then just bounce out because of course they're ping pong balls. So they have like, you know, like rebound to them and they'll just bounce off anything. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I'm out. I'm just gonna go play some Tekken, move on with my life and just, you know, look out for the time. So I gotta go back to work, right? So as I leave and I think I wanna go get a drink or something. I'm walking back from playing a game of Tekken. I was like, oh, let me go play some rhythm game. So I was about to go play, I think it was, I forget what the, this game was called, but it was a rhythm game. It's like, it's touch screen and it's a circle and you gotta like use your hands to like touch it. And it's a really fun game. You should check it out. If I could figure out what it was called, I'll throw it on the 
on on the video on the screen right now. And as I was walking, I noticed there was kids at the machine that I was at earlier. And I was like, I swear to God, if they freaking win after all that work I put into that game, I'm gonna be pissed, right? So I walked by and I wasn't like hovering, right? I was, I kept my distance and I was walking pretty slow cause I wanted to see. And it was two of these kids, right? The one kid was, he failed. And the second kid, he drops the ball and they win. And they were so happy and I was so pissed. And I was like, I can't believe I spent however much money on this game and did not win the prize. But at the end of the day, I was like, well, I guess I kind of helped them out if you think about it. After that very bittersweet moment, I was like, could have had that Ultra Instinct Goku, but at least to visually see another kid, literally they were, they were like, they were, they were like teenagers, right? To see another kid win something that I tried so hard at winning at, but just to see like their enlightenment and like how uppity and, and, and giddy they were, I was just like, all right, all right. Like I didn't feel that crap afterwards, but damn it, I would, that you should have seen that statue. That statue was fire. I was like, oh my God. I'm pretty sure it was like, Goku Ultra Instinct in like the Kamehameha pose or something like, I don't even know. But yeah, I figured I would tell you the story as I opened up the statues and showed them off because they look awesome as you can t as you can see um in the little corner over here but i figured because i couldn't win and open that statue for you guys i think it's about time i open up a third and final bonus one for you guys and this one is most likely going to be the best of the three this guy I've been waiting to open for some time now. And this, I actually bought myself. I didn't win this out of a game. I actually bought this at KamehaCon 2019 last year as a, as a memorabilia for me because this was the second KamehaCon, the second ever KamehaCon that ever happened. It was the, the second one for me. I was there at the first one. and But the, the thing with the second one was it was special because I was invited personally, like me. Your boy Ooch was invited to KamehaCon not just to be a guest, like I was invited to give a panel and i've never given a panel before and if you want to see it i actually still should have the video up and i it was a 45 minute presentation about why i believe that this very character this man broly is the personification of hope and desire i forget i, I honestly i forget exactly how i how i worded it or whatever he is the embodiment of hope and necessity and all these things because this is a character that no one believed would ever be canonized or brought into the the limelight of the the mainline story that Kira Toriyama still has his say in and all that. It might not have been his original idea. It was definitely suggested to him, but the fact is he wrote the fucking movie script. He designed this character. He drew this character. Like, come on. The fact that this is in my hands right now and it's not the, the classic Broly, the fact that we have to say classic Broly now is amazing in itself. So of course, I gave the panel, I filled the room, it was amazing, it was an awesome time, and as a memorabilia, like I said, I wanted to get something that I would always remember that event by, so my man Broly, favorite character in Dragon Ball of all time, used to be Trunks, but as soon as this guy came to life, I was like, yup, it, this, he is it, he is it, so as a bonus, I will be opening this up for you guys too, so that way you can check it out. Um, how the full power well, Broly is, okay? <laughs> Yo, my man came in hella parts. This is like the kind of packaging that you would find in like like a like a trench coat. Like, yo, it's like, yo, I'm selling Broly parts. You want some Broly parts? Hey, yo, shout out to Ba. Yeah. Yo, I need to get me a pair of sweatpants that literally are exactly my man Broly. I'm trying to get these purple sweatpants with the matching boots. You know what I'm saying? Let me get a pair of these freaking Nike Johns that look exactly like this. I'm trying to, trying to pull up like my man Broly, son. Look, man, my man Broly came out the shower with the freaking towel on, but he's got the freaking fist to cuff. He looking like he's a Baki fighter right now. But I definitely like how they package these figures to de to keep the detail and the the finesse. Oh my goodness, the finesse and how 
godlike these characters and in, in their detail are right now. Just to keep all the pieces safe. I definitely appreciate that. Oof. Oh, man. He even got the freaking scars on there. I don't know if you... Yeah, you definitely can see that, John. Look at that. Dude. Oh, my God. Look, he, he's, he is ripped. If I could ever look even remotely close to having this body build, dude... Fire. All right, so before I put this on, oh, let's see what really looks like without the, without Boz John on. He kind of looks tough without it, but I'm so used to seeing him with it on that it's like, it would definitely be something that you'd have to get used to over time, but let, let, let's put Bot on, all right? We got to put the whole Pete, the whole John together. Now, because he does have the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Ba cape or whatever you want to call it, the Ba hoodie on, on his waist um the top part definitely just it comes off really loosely so it's obviously because this is in front of it but dude all in all this looks fire look at that this is the best one of course it's the best one look at the detail my man's pumped pumped son it's broly you lucky you lucky moro you lucky you ain't gotta deal with this guy all right i'm just being biased right now but still you're lucky Kakarata! let me see how he looks behind the two. Oh man oh man ha that that looks fire that the, the freaking triangle that they got going on he definitely needs to be on like a higher elevated platform so that way it looks appropriate because obviously broly should be towering these two dudes but i'm sure if i had like one of those like actual super duper deluxe statues that they make that are hella money i'm sure those are huge as it is and i would love I would love to to get me one of those and if I ever did I would most certainly do a video for it. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed my story time. If there's ever uh, other stories or something that you guys might want to hear on on the, on the YouTube channel, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about the figures? What do you think about the story? Do you think it was wholesome or do you think it was whack or you should or should I have gone and assaulted these kids? No, the don't 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 <laughs> but yeah I, I was very happy that they were happy and it, it it definitely made me feel very warm inside that i was indirectly a part of why they were able to win that prize but yeah yeah it, it was cool but will i ever play crane games again no definitely not I, my lesson is learned like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff support and links are going to be in the description as always make sure if you're trying to catch any kind of live discussions or story times definitely check me out on twitch keep it locked with it right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside may the power protect you all look out for one another i'll see you guys next time